Roberto as a player was you know, one of the best of all time. Uh, I think everyone knows that. Just the way he, he was able to steal games and, and play consistently. You know, his teammates speak so highly of him, and uh, that's something that you always look for. The impact he had on the community and the city is, is one that'll last, and you know, he's definitely not gonna be forgotten anytime soon. He is like Vancouver to me, like I, when I was a kid and young and you know growing up playing and him being one of the most dominant goalies in the league for however long, you know, getting a chance to wear the C as a goalie, like those things just stand out, you know, now to be here and see what he means to the city is a really special thing, not just on the ice, but off the ice. So he's a very big part of this organization and he always will be. And, you know, I take a lot of pride in being able to, you know, play in a rink where, you know, he was at his totally top of his game at. So whenever you kind of play against the guys that were, you know, legends really when you were, were young, you kind of pinch yourself that you're on the ice against them. So for me, it was it was uh, pretty cool. I still remember it was in, it was in Florida and uh, it was him and Keith Yandel that were, I was kind of like battling with in front of the net. It was pretty cool for me being 22 years old. I remember we played him uh, my first year. I wasn't playing, but whenever he made a save or anything, the old chant went blue. And that pretty much says uh, how much he means to the people here and how much of a fan favorite he was. Congratulations uh, on getting your number in the Ring of Honor. Um, it's uh, very well deserved. and. He uh, left an impression that players like myself that are, are still trying to carry the torch can, can look up to and, and follow his lead.